Next up is an entrepreneur with a better version of the modern man bag. Hi, my name's Aaron Tweedy and I'm from Front Royal, Virginia. I'm here today seeking $200,000 for a 29% stake in my company, Manpack. The Manpack is a sling-styled vertical messenger bag designed by guys for guys. You know, 40 years ago, men carried nothing more than a money clip, but times have changed. On average, guys now carry 4.5 pounds of stuff. Things like keys, cell phones, tablets, energy drinks. Point is, guys need to carry stuff, and we have very few options. We have the backpack, the briefcase, the traditional messenger bag, and I'm sure all of you remember the fanny pack. I have designed a superior product that I call Urban Tactical. You can wear this thing three different ways. First way is bandolier style. If you need to take it off quickly, it has a quick release clasp. A chest mounted utility pocket for your cell phone with a magnetic button closure. Line it up, locks itself shut. Three rows of molly for tactical gear and a collapsible beverage holder. When you need it, it's there. When you don't, <laughs> Not it falls up. Not the collapsible up. beverage holder. <laughs> it falls up and out of the way. To get into it, you don't need to take it off. Just spin it around and open it up. Plus, you have auxiliary pockets for things like your wallet, loose pocket change, keys. Now, if you're someplace where you're gonna take it on and off frequently, you can throw it over one shoulder. Notice how the weight still hangs over your lower back due to the ergonomic design of the strap. And if you're in the city, <laughs> On the Metro, you can wear it in reverse, keep your possessions in front of you, and safe from pickpockets. The mission statement of Manpack is to make men more prepared, because a prepared man is a better man. With your support, we can turn the man bag market into the man pack market. Thank you for the opportunity to present, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Aaron, what's your background? Are you yeah. a kidding, baby? That was really good. Are Thank you, you. What's your background? Are you a designer? Uh, no, I built my first house when I was 19. And uh, I was in Fort Benning, Georgia when I was 17. Were you in the Army? I was. You know, when you first walked in, I looked at it and I thought, oh, another knapsack for guys, whatever. But you definitely wowed me with the utility of it. Can we see them? Can, you hand, can we take a look at sure. one? Sure. Yes. For you. Thank you. Here you go. Give me the black one. Thanks. You get the XL. Yeah. Yeah, he needs the XL. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Have you sold any of these? I have. I have. What are your sales? What are your sales? Okay, so last year, 76,000. This year, we're at 65,000 year to date. Is that online? What do you think it you're going to do this year? 145. What do you sell them for? 59.95. And what do you what make, do you them, make for? them for? They cost right now $22.05 a piece. So this product requires an explanation because it's hard to differentiate it against anything else. That's true, you have to educate the consumer because this is an emerging market. Bags are emerging market? This is the millennial version of the Merce. <laughs> but it's not, right, it's not a purse, it's not a backpack. Aaron, here, it's, it's a, a man, you it's know a man purse. But Aaron, here's the concern. When I sure. was in Europe okay. last summer with my family, right. I had a similar bag and I wasn't ashamed to wear it in public because every other guy in Europe had one. Exactly. When I came back here, I put the same thing on. I didn't make it one block down the street. Everybody was laughing at me. You know, it, <laughs> But that's not that, immersed. It, Robert, I don't think they were laughing at you for that. You know, a couple of things. One, um, it's not immersed. When you see the guys that I sell to, the Secret Service agents and military personnel and law enforcement personnel. I never laugh at somebody with a gun. Right, exactly. Well, let's go to the real numbers. How many did you sell last month online only? Probably like 40. That's you know, I mean, it's not good, but I started this with $5,000. I've been doing a lot with next to nothing. Why do you think the company's worth $700,000? Okay, um, 50,000 for the design patent, which we- But what made. did you get the design patent for? For this model. Like what, a bag with a strap that has so just many the pockets? Look of it. It's just the look of what it. What else are you adding to the value? A multiple of sales for two years being the $145,000 projection, 18,000 intellectual property, uh, that being the bank of uh, YouTube commercials that I've created. They're really funny, you should check them out. <laughs> You're putting a hard value on those. Value is a matter of perception. And if we're on, yes, it if is. We're on an <laughs> island and you have a bar of gold and I have a cheeseburger, who's rich? I'll take the gold. Okay. Then get in the plane and leave the island. <laughs> Let's go, Robert. Hold on. Are we, are we done? Are we done with all the numbers? I'm just. No. Um. Okay. What? And two hundred thousand in goodwill. And two hundred thousand in goodwill. <laughs> if I gave you two hundred thousand, I'd have to own about uh, two hundred and sixty percent of the company. About that, because you, you have very small sales. That's the reason I'm out. I'm just a 
disciplined financial investor. I understand. Yeah, I kind of agree with Kevin. I think this, this is a hard business to invest in. I think you're a hustler and you're a great salesperson. I just think it's hard for you to scale, which makes it hard to invest in. And so for those reasons, I'm out. We see many people with um, good sales, bad sales, and then we normally bet on the person. And thank you for serving our country. Thank you. We also look for small indications on how good this partner would be. Your, I'm gonna charge $20,000 for the, your videos that you may have made at home. It indicated that you don't have a sense of financial intelligence when it comes to what partners need and operating this business. And for that reason, I'm out. I have to tell you, as impressed as I am with you, to me, it looks like a messenger bag. So you've gotta go and you gotta run real fast, baby. You gotta get out there, but that's a journey for you. And you're a tough guy. Ex-military, I think you're gonna do it. I just, you're not gonna do it in the time frame that I wanna do it in. For that reason, I'm out. I don't know that much about what men carry around, but I do know that in all my years in retail and in QVC and creating products, the hardest thing is when there's just a ton of competition and you're not even sure how popular the market is for it. And we're not sure how many people are gonna be buying the product. And for that reason, I'm out. Very well. I wish you all the best, though. All right. Well, thank you guys very Good luck, much. Aaron. Good luck, Aaron. Good luck. Good luck. What it comes down to is that they didn't like my valuation. I'm sure they would have liked to have 70% of the business for 20 grand. And, you know, I look forward into the future, and I know that it's gonna be worth a lot more because I'm gonna make it worth a lot more.